up for change, I just started on my quest Yeah, the world will know my name, I'm excited, I'm obsessed No one in my way but myself and a test Yeah, I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best Life is just a game, I'll be playing till I rest I'll be there to claim my own spot among the best what up, it's your boy Incredible, and this is Undead Unluck episode 15. Let's dive right into it and see what's popping off. Oh, okay. I was like, where are we? Oh, uh, she's worried about the door leading up to Ragnarok. Oh, dude, you're, they know who you are, bruh. Running away really ain't an option. So, uh... あらが決まったら、5時に訪問に顔出せと言ってある。うん。あと10分だ。来なきゃ帰るぞ。案外そうでもなかったよ。ラトラがここにいないって言ってたからね。やっぱここ。ステロの派ヒケンベ。今日は
Girl. Right, y'all gotta give the dude some information. Oh, so we're gonna get backstory? を殺してるんです。僕が中学1年の頃は両親と買い物に出かけた帰り道思いからって買ったもの全部一人で持って一人先に横断歩道を渡りました気づかなかったんです僕のせいで父さんと母さんは動けなくて知らぬ間に司会の外から居眠り運転の車が近づいていることに。え、やっと watch。僕が2人に駆け寄ろうとした瞬間。Oh my gosh. Oh man. Now I understand why they want to get rid of these powers so bad, bro. They suck, man. あの事故が Boy, this, boy, this took a dark turn, bro. I was living kind of happy, you know, riding kind of high from the last couple episodes, but... Bro, that's hard, man. That's tough to deal with, bro. マフィアに捕まって牢に閉じ込められ殺されそうになった時探してたんですただ生きるだけじゃないすぐ帰る方法をさっきはビビっちゃったですけどもう逃げません Nice. だから僕を仲間にしてください。なんだこの10年留年しましたみたいなお姿。あの子誰だ。うちのブレザーじゃねえぞ。絡まれてんのか。違う違う。そうじゃなくて。どう見ても <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, big news does it. Oh, Anti Dini basket swings and get there. Much of it, you have done. Oh, yeah, call it a car and you good. You are an actor, so was it? Yup, but you don't want to get. Well, you gotta leave this life, old life behind now. Wow. He really had a friend, but it's it's too much to explain, so he just Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, that's a little heartbreaking. I don't know this 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 episode, man. It, it, 
it hurts a little bit. You got a little emotional. Wow. Nice, Fuko. She's finally starting to realize that, you know, hey, sitting on the sidelines ain't working anymore. I bet it's some big quests this time too though. Four. We got four. Okay, man. That was Undead Unluck episode 15 and bro i'm gonna be 100 percent, man a little sad bro if i'm being honest man it, it kind of hurt my heart a little bit man it was uh it was cool it was great it did feel like it went back kind of fast but i mean it is what it is because it was a setup episode it set up everything that was gonna go forward into episode 16 and on now the opening changed this episode as well. You know, I feel like this is like the the normally the second core kind of takes place at like episode thirteen, but they were still dealing with that battle against unrepair. So now I feel like this is when the second core kind of kicked in, which is around episode fifteen, and I think it's like twenty four episodes. So that's still enough time for it to be considered um, a second core. Um, it was a nice episode, man. It was very. It was. I felt like it. It, it moved very quickly. We didn't really get an explanation on how Unrepair returned. It's just that he did. And even though he's little, he won't stay that way for long. But we also learned their name. They're called Under because they, they feel like the world is unfair. And when it flips and the God comes, it's going to be fair. And they want to rule. And and they obviously know something. And, and there's something about their group because they seem like they're going to be totally fine when everything takes place. So, you know, they, they, they don't have any, they're not worried about anything. So that's a little concerning, you know what I'm saying? And then we learned a little bit more about the artifacts this episode. Certain artifacts produce a picture or an image or images of God just destroying the world. And we see that with that gun this episode. But I feel like that gun artifact is definitely going to come back into play because Andy took it and he's probably going to use it to train uh, Fuko with it because Fuko decided she wants to actually train. We see Fuko in a different light this episode as well. We see her all giddy and excited to actually be in school because we know she didn't go to school because she was afraid of touching other people because of her unluck. Now, we see some similarities between her and Chikara and because they both ended up killing their parents. Now, it sucks that that's the, that's where the similarities end because Chica was able to go to school with his abilities, but it still kind of haunted him a little bit because he killed his parents. And what sucks is the way that it happened. You know what I'm saying? He's watching his parents, and, and all of a sudden, in that moment, his abilities kick in, and he doesn't realize that it's a vision type thing or that he's the one that's causing it. And when it happens, you see his parents just standing there, and the truck stops as well because it's in his pathway. But the moment, you know, he moved and ran towards it, bam, instantaneously. And the father was closer to the impact. So he died right on impact and, and the mother kind of suffered for a long time. But, oh my gosh. That was, boy, that, boy, that was heartbreaking, man. It, it was dark too. Like it was really dark, but it was heartbreaking at the same time. And you could see how emotional it was for Foucault as well, because it was very reminiscent of her situation. And you could see her having flashes about her own parents. And like I said, um, the three youngest members on the team, because we don't really know nothing about Phil, right? And I think Phil feels like an Android maybe or something. I honestly don't know. But um, we see that Titania, not Titania, Tatiana, uh, Chikara, and Fuko all ended up killing their parents with their abilities. And that has to haunt them, man. Like, it's not going to stifle them. You know, they're going to continue to move forward. But you could tell it messed with them a little bit. And that's why they're on this side with the Union. Because they're so adamant about getting rid of God and getting rid of their powers. And I think 
is telling a wonderful story. And I feel like episode 15 done something a little bit different. It gave us the comedy and stuff like that. But we get that another emotional scene with Chikita and his friend where his friend is like, well, oh, I got uh, a full scholarship to this school. And it's so good. And you can see Chikita having those moments, especially when everybody started speaking English and he couldn't understand it. You can see him having a wonderful time with his friend. And then he asked Nico to do the major memory wipe and wipe him from everybody's memories. It was such a sad moment, man, but a great moment at the same time. Like there was something about this episode that while sad and, and giddy and, and, and complex, it was still full of emotion and heartfelt, even though we dealt with some darker stuff as well with this episode it was just 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 a great episode man even though it was short-lived and there wasn't too much going on to progress the story still just a great episode this word is incredible don't forget to smash the like button you can't smash any more comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life peace out Cause I've been working a lot I think I deserve a shot I think I deserve a spot Cause if it means on this path that I walk Then if I keep going I pray I'll be at the top